Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Desiree Contreras. Thank you once again for tuning into my channel, for liking, subscribing, and sharing with your friends. Um, today, I wanted to talk about this book that I'm currently reading. It is called Wild. It is by Cheryl Stray. Um, I got to meet her a few weeks ago, and um, I've been really, really inspired by Cheryl. She's played a huge part of my healing journey. So, you know, as you can tell with my youtube channel right now i'm really going on a healing journey i'm really diving deep into figuring out just so many things about pain about life about sitting with the pain about feeling my own body for the first time um so this book really resonated with me so i i actually heard about this book because i went camping a few weeks ago with my cousin we were off-roading and she pointed to this post and she's like oh hey there's a pct trail and i was like what the hell is a pct trail and she was like it's a trail that people do it's a trail from mexico all the way to canada and it's about 2300 miles and i was like what the heck like how in the hell do people do that like that's super crazy and then um elisa was like yeah, there's this lady named Cheryl Stray. She's super famous for doing the trail and she wrote a book. So right away I was like, okay, what's up with this Cheryl Stray woman? Like, how did she do this? Why did she do this? Like, that's just really insane to me. So on the drive home back from camping, I decided that I was going to YouTube her and immediately I was in awe of this woman. So this woman is named Cheryl Stray. She embarked on this journey at 22 years old after losing her mother to cancer. Her mom um, thought that she had a cold, but it actually was cancer and passed away about seven weeks later so she embarks on this journey she embarks on this journey in the midst of losing her mom in the midst of getting a divorce in the midst of um just all these things and she really goes into a dark place of promiscuity and using drugs and infidelity and um just going through the grieving period of losing her mom so that is how i felt like i resonated with her not so much the promiscuity and drug part of it but the binging part of it the part of grieving the part of numbing your pain and so when i found out that she did this trail i was just really mind blown because she did this trail by herself and she also did this trail in 1995 so this is pre-cell phone pre-gps pre all these things that we have now and keep in mind that she also really had never done a backpacking hike before and here she was in the wilderness but she faces so many things while being it while being in the wilderness and that's what i was so fascinated with because throughout my healing journey i've just been so drawn to nature i've been so drawn to walking in the outdoors so there is something very um powerful when you're in your healing journey about nature and um as i read more and more about nature and being outside i can definitely see why there's just so many healing properties to it so Cheryl embarks on this amazing journey and you know as I embark on my journey I I can see how she had so many revelations by just walking and you know I just recently started walking myself and although my walks are not so intense as hers I can see just the revelations of um, the walks that you know what what it brings you so when I initially started walking I um, I wanted to use my my radio or my not my radio well my like what is it called my iTunes just to listen to music as I walked and coincidentally I wasn't able to use my um, my music and my walking app to see how far I went so I was really upset about that so I felt at that moment that it was just more important for me to know how far I walked versus listening to music so i continued to walk and continue to walk and all of a sudden i just started having more revelations and and i wasn't able to um be distracted by what music i was gonna play by the words by the sound by the beat i was just there alone to face my thoughts and i started having all these revelations so as i continued to do my walking journey now i do it with no um, music and it just gives me a time to walk and reflect and um, there was a point 
where I was walking not too long ago at Mild Square in Garden Grove, California, and I looked around and I saw that everything in nature was just so perfect, that everything was in perfect cadence, and here I was the only person that was out of cadence, and even the ducks that were swimming, even the ripples that were following the ducks, you know, just the water was just so perfect in the way that it rippled. And at that, um, at that moment, I noticed that the sun and the moon were both out. It was one of those days where both of them were out, and I just was in awe of how perfect nature is and how faithful it is and how you know everything is just so perfect when it comes to nature and I never really understood that nor did I take the time to sit there and appreciate something like that so you know as Cheryl went through this this journey I could see how she came face to face with it she came face to face with fear with uh, bears with rattlesnakes with hunger with the most painful thing of grieving her mother and that's why I really resonated with this book so much is because I lost my father and it's been such a hard journey and um, through therapy and through walking and through reading books and through um, inspirational people like this I found so much peace in my heart I am now able to accept my father's death I now know that my my father is in his fullness and closer to me than he's ever been and I can now understand the beauty of death the beauty of life and just so many things so I just feel so grateful and I know a lot of the videos that I've been posting have been videos of um, my pain and videos of me crying but that's where I was at the moment and there's still times where I cry and I'm still in pain but as this healing journey progresses as I continue to go to therapy as I continue to delve deep in the spiritual world and um, just getting more clarity I can definitely see the healing journey and how amazing it is and um, I recently also took a break from drinking so it's about um, I'm coming up on almost 60 days of no alcohol and just so much clarity in that you know I didn't really realize I was in so much pain and masking um, just all this stuff so this is a book that I want to share with you I'm gonna uh, take you on a little journey where I went to go visit Cheryl Strait and see her lecture unfortunately I wasn't able to record inside the lecture but you're gonna be able to see her we got our book signed and you know just some person, you know, Cheryl Show is just a person that played a huge role in my healing journey and I'm so thankful to have met her and I'm so thankful that there are women out there that are willing to share the journey because everybody out there just wants to pretend like everything's cool and everything's okay and, you know, there's so many lessons with just sitting in the pain. So, once again, my name is Desiree Contreras. The book is called Wild. If you're not into books, she also made a movie. Um, called Wild and Reese Witherspoon plays her so highly recommend it and thank you so much for following my journey um, I know like I said I, I haven't been posting the happiest videos but I want you guys to know that I am healing and healing the healing journey is um, you know it's not linear it's it's up and down and um, so I just want to give you an update and let you know that I feel so grateful, I feel so thankful, I feel like my healing is just really um, progressing at such a fast rate and I am so thankful. So just want to share that with you. Peace, love, tortillas with butter. The next segment that you will see is the segment at her lecture. So thank you Cheryl Stray, thank you everybody for watching. Hey everybody, my name is Desiree Contreras. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel once again. Today I am here to see uh, Cheryl Strait. She wrote a amazing book that I'm reading right now called Wild. So I'm gonna take you on our journey. We are at the Garrison Theater in the city of Claremont. Yeah, 
Christmas card. We just bought our book. Yeah. Wild. And then tiny beautiful things. Oh my god, this is so cool. Here we are walking into the Garrison Theater. We check their seat. I don't think it's check. Oh, can you double check it? What if we someone else? Whatever. Whatever you want. Mm. Mm. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so I'm Monica uh, from Czech Republic. It's my boyfriend Libor. Hi. And uh, we are here for a uh, discussion with Shore Strait. It's uh, our hero, I think, because she wrote uh, The Wild. And uh, I did a trail, it's two years ago, and she was uh, my inspired, inspired, inspiration. inspiration because uh, she wrote the book and I saw the film. It's two years ago, three years ago actually, yeah. and the doctor told me that I will never be healthy again, that I have um, some illness, so I thought that maybe I will die. I didn't know, I was, I was totally down, and uh, then I saw a film and I read the book, and I was like, hey, maybe my illness is just in my head, so I... I believe my heart that everything is possible. I felt that I can be healthy again. Mm -hmm. So I decided that I will try Pacific Crest Trail without any experience. <laughs> I didn't sleep in 10 before this trail. Wow. So I was like, hey, fuck you, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell me how many miles you did? Uh, it's uh, 2,600 miles, so I got lost. I think it's more. <laughs> <laughs> but. Wow. Uh, I did it during five months. The first month was so hard. I cried every single day. I was alone and my my illness was forced wow. because I had to eat uh, some some food, some special food, and it was so heavy. And I had no experience, and I I had um, some stuff not like so good stuff. A little bit bad stuff because I, I didn't have sponsors, so I had some second hand stuff or something. The equipment. E equipment. equipment. Mm -hmm. So, but I believe, I believe myself, I believe my heart that I can do it. Mm -hmm. I cried so much every night because I'm a single child, I have no, I have any brothers and sisters. So, I, 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 I in my mind, I was with my parents, they cried every day. But I believe, so I keep, I kept going every day, every single day, every step was so painful. But after five months, I was, I was finished. I did it, I made it. But I was afraid. I was afraid about 
come back to Czech Republic about doctors. Hmm. But then I came to Czech Republic and doctors told me, hey, what happened with you? You are almost healthy. Wow. And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> it was really hard work. So, so sorry, it's a very, really strong story. It's amazing. <laughs> and um, I was happy. Because I got lost a little bit before trail, I hate myself. But then I found something. I found my strong. Mm -hmm. Every everybody has strong. Everybody has strong. So now I'm happy. I feel healthy. Yes. Maybe I'm not like full healthy, but I enjoy every single day, and I'm really happy. I found something in my heart. Something. Something more. Was there, was there ever a point that you just wanted to give up? Huh? Was there a point where you wanted to stop doing the hike? Yeah, I just think every 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 single minute. Oh. <laughs> wow. uh, because um, I saw mountain lion. Oh wow! It was like you and me. Oh my gosh! It was really dangerous. And then uh, in um, mountain in Sierra Nevada, um, catch me snowstorm, so I got frostbite. <gasps> So, yeah, I, I thought that I would die, but these days I was like, hey, I have parents and they can't be alone. I promised them that I will be back in Czech Republic, I will be with them. So this was in my hand when I was alone in the mountains, so I knew that I have to be strong. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your story and I'm so like I just want to congratulate you on your healing journey. So thank you for sharing your story. Thank you. So, so nice to much. meet you. Thank you.